Best words you could possibly hear 20 seconds away from liftoff. T minus five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. Vehicles pitching downrange. Booster after chamber pressure nominal. Thirty seconds into the flight, the Brumble's just starting to reach us here at launch control. Booster and ship, that avionics power, telemetry nominal. 33 Raptor engines. Max Q. Now pass through the maximum aerodynamic pressure, the most stress the vehicle's gonna see on the way uphill. Our next major milestone coming up, it's going to be hot staging. We're going to see the engines ignite on ship to push it away from the booster. So hot staging is going to be the next thing coming up. First, we're going to see the booster's engines start to shut down. All but three. We're going to do what's called most engines cut off instead of main engine cut off, because three are going to keep going. And then we're going to see the engines on ship ignite. Right now, the tower team is doing their go, no go. We might hear some really good words soon, too. All right. You can still see it up behind me. That is one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in my entire life. Booster Coming up on hot staging next. Ship engine There's start up. Most engines cut off. Stage separation. Booster Stage booster separation. Start hot up. stage confer separation confirmed. ship under its own power. I'm seeing six out of six Raptors lit. Hopefully I got a booster on the way back to me. I'm going to send it to you guys in Hawthorne. Oh man, that was absolutely <laughs> incredible. I loved how the crowd chamber pressure is nominal. Crowd here in Hawthorne all went ooh at that first <laughs> view of the blue flames from the booster. As you can see there, first stage currently performing, or excuse me, is uh, now making its way back to uh, the launch site. Again, we are... Ship avionics power and launch rate nominal. Uh, the booster and the tower are both performing automated checks to make sure we are go for the booster to return to the launch pad for that catch. And once those are complete, the flight director... Here that the tower is go for catch, so that was one of the big criteria we were looking for. This view we'll here. wait to hear that the we'll wait to hear that the go for catch has been sent. Beautiful view here from the <laughs> ship. And it's so exciting to hear that we got a go for booster catch. That means it's gonna be a really exciting morning. Again, the booster is making its way back towards uh, now land um, in order to make that catch attempt in the tower. <laughs> so incredible to see these views. You can see the ship 
up on the right hand side of your screen, all six Raptor engines are uh, under full power. Once again, the, the ship, or excuse me, the booster is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to try and catch it using the chopsticks on the launch tower, the exact same tower that it just launched from just, wow, five minutes ago. <laughs> Starship on nominal hey guys, I, I can confirm the command was sent for the booster to come back. That is incredible. So look it up right now. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much right over ahead of us and we can see it starting to come down. I can't wait for us to hear the sonic boom through Dan's mic. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that is going to be incredible. It was so cool to hear the liftoff. Uh, and so once again, um, it's successful on-time liftoff of Starship Flight 5. The ship uh, the, has separated from the booster. The booster is there on your screen. It is making its way back to the launch site. We are going to attempt the catch using the chopsticks. We did hear the confirmation that the command was sent to the tower. Uh, we are go for catch. And in order to... Hey guys, we should just be in about 30 seconds away from the landing burn. It's gonna happen in three phases. We're gonna land 13 engines, burn off all of that velocity. Oh, we can see it coming down through the plume. Booster coming in hot for booster catch. Can I ignite 13 of those Raptor engines? And this view is incredible right now. You can see how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand. We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now. Thank you. As Kate mentioned, it's getting uh, a little more red, as you can see there on your screen. That means that heat is building up, but that's exactly what these heat shield tiles are there for, is to protect against this plasma and this really, really extreme heat that the vehicle is going to see for the, about the next uh, 10, 10 more minutes or so. Yeah, so uh, the ship will attempt to light the and we'll see those in action as well today um, as that was a flight three learning that worked better on flight four and still enabling that same design today. Yes. Starship has passed through 85 kilometers altitude. Flaps now have control of the vehicle. Great call. I was
engines on this vehicle to help slow the vehicle down for a vertical landing. Yeah. Now, entry is going to basically happen in five phases. The first is low drag that lasts for about three minutes. Next is high heating, and that begin that beginning when heating increases um, uh, above the uh, heat rate breakup limit. Um, that lasts for about 10 minutes. We then have high dynamic pressure. Uh, so fingers crossed that we can uh, that we, we can bring those to you. Um, we are uh, hoping to splash down softer than we did last time on flight four. Um, right now, Starship continuing to make its descent back Starship to planet Earth. Starship Mark two remains on a good trajectory. All right, great news there. That tells us that the vehicle is traveling twice more than, or is traveling twice the speed of sound. So we will then, the next call out that we'll hear is that it is, uh, you know, traveling about the speed of sound. And then we will hear a call out that it is, that will be the call out that it, it is transonic. And then we will hear another call out saying that it is subsonic, meaning going slower than the speed of sound. Starship is transonic. There it is. So at this point, so at this point in time, uh, we say transonic because certain parts of the vehicle, like the So keep an eye on the bottom right hand side of your screen as well. That will be the indicator when the Raptor engines ignite, if we are unable to see that illumination ourselves. Ha, ha, ha. 